What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Hope you're doing well. We're going to go over from Bitcoin. Currently sitting at 24.3K, up about 0.4 on the day. See a market above 465 I mean, 24 hour volume, 31.35 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to Bybit, up to 30K in bonuses or Bikit. Uh, Bikit's where I do the majority of my training, up to 8K in bonuses. Email me your sign up email, completely free access to over 2,000 members. Posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto. Let's hop into Bitcoin. So we'll start with the bullish scenario. Uh, we pulled all the way back to the 0.786. We actually broke below it. So the bullish scenario is that this is a one. This is a wave two pullback. However, this is a three-way move. I guess you could try to get a five-way move out of that, but looks more like a three-way move to me. Um, but what you, what you would have to look at is this is a wave two and you push up in a three, four, five to put in a higher high. Now you would need to come up and break 24.6K um, to give more value to this scenario playing out. As of right now, we have the bearish scenario of an overshooting wave B and um, basically coming down in a wave C. So this is a wave one down. We had a wave two pullback and you'd be looking to come down in a wave three. So the micro count. So this would be a wave one down, you pull back in a two, and then you would start to come down in a three, four, five. Let's complete that wave three um, for the price of BTC. Now looking at the DXY, we broke out of this um, rising wedge to the upside. Now it may just be a fake out to the upside. So of course, if the DXY were to see a large pullback, that would be positive for the price of Bitcoin. We are still putting in that bearish side version, so it's definitely possible. I am leaning a little bit more towards seeing a little bit more downside, but if we can get back above the EMAs and we break that high, as I mentioned, if we come up and we break 24.6, then there is potential to put in uh, one more higher high in a wave five. Uh, we pulled all the way back to the 0.786 on the FIB. We actually broke below it a little bit here, but we did not break that wave too low. So basically we retraced 99% of wave one, which is the maximum retracement. So we'll see, do we get back above the EMAs here? Or do we get rejected, finally break 23.5 and confirm the bearish scenario? All right, gang. So those are your key supports and resistance. 23.5 is broken, confirms the bearish scenario. A break above 24.6 gives higher probability of pushing up in that final wave five to about 25.9 to about 27.2K. All right, gang, that's it for this one. Sign up to either Bybit or Bicket. Grab those bonuses. Email me your sign up email. Completely free access to over 2,000 members. Posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto. At the 10 USD membership, early access to my analysis, signals, crypto news, member profits, Mahalo all plays, all coming in at 10 bucks a month. Sign up to the Patreon link, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, much love. Take care.